metals are subdivided into ferrous and non-ferrous metals and also the ferrous and non-ferrous has the pure metal form and the alloy form. Metals are the most commonly used class of engineering material. Metal alloys are especially common and are formed by combining a metal with another metal or another non-metallic materials. The combination usually occurs by melting, mixing and cooling process. Alloying of the material is done to improve the properties of the base material. Metals are further classified into ferrous metal and non-ferrous metal. Ferrous metals are those which contain iron as their main constituent or base metal. Ferrous metals having great castability, high compressive strength, good wear resistance, low melting point and also it's available relatively cheap. Ferrous metal again available in pure metal form or alloy form. The pure form of ferrous material is an alloys. Alloys can be divided into two different categories, ferrous alloys and non-ferrous alloys. Ferrous alloys have iron as the base element. Ferrous alloys are the most common metal alloys in use due to the abundance of the iron and ease of production and high versatility of the material. The biggest disadvantage of many ferrous alloys is low corrosion resistance. Carbon is an important alloying element in all the ferrous alloys. In general, high level of carbon increases strength and hardness and decreases ductility and weldability. Examples of ferrous alloys are carbon steel, low alloy steel, tool steel, stainless steel, cast iron, etc. Alloy steels are also made in multiple forms such as chromium, nickel, molybdenum, vanadium, manganese, etc. The use of material varies based on the application. Non-ferrous alloys Non-ferrous alloys are combination of other pure metals other than iron. Let us see some examples. Aluminium alloys The pure aluminium is soft and weak but it can be alloyed to increase the strength. Pure aluminium has good corrosion resistance due to the oxide coating that forms over the metal and prevents oxidation. The table represents the mechanical properties of several common aluminum alloys. Next, nickel alloys. Nickel alloys have high temperature and corrosion resistance. The table shows the mechanical properties of several common nickel alloys. Copper alloys. Copper alloys are generally characterized as electrically conductive, good corrosion resistance and relatively easy to form and cast. The table shows mechanical properties of several common copper alloys. Titanium alloys Titanium alloys are light, strong and have high corrosion resistance. Their density is much lower than the steel and the strength to weight ratio is excellent. For this reason, titanium alloys are fairly used in aerospace industry. The table shows mechanical properties of several common titanium alloys. Non-ferrous metals We have already seen the non-ferrous metal alloys which doesn't contain iron. Non-ferrous metals are softer and therefore more malleable. Properties of non-ferrous metals are high corrosion resistance, easy to fabricate, great thermal conductivity, great electrical conductivity, low density, colorful and non-magnetic. Let us see some of the pure non-ferrous metals. All pure metals are non-ferrous elements except iron. Important non-ferrous metals include copper, aluminium, lead, zinc, tin, silver, mercury and gold.